Hello everyone. In this video, we will be learning about parallel flow, which are present in flow logic of flow designer, and we will be learning this through an example as well. Welcome to my YouTube channel, and if you are liking my content, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. So, firstly, what is a parallel flow? With parallel flow logic, we can run actions or subflows in a separate paths parallelly. So as the name suggests, we can run multiple actions or subflows separately and these don't interfere with each other. So that's the best part of these parallel flows. You can write as many actions as you want, as many as subflows you want, but they don't interfere with each other and they run in parallelly. In the use case, we would be creating a catalog item for each separation. So this is a request which is created when somebody wants to leave the organization and the approval will go to the manager. And if manager approves, we would be initiating a parallel flow where we would be assigning a task to the hardware team to take back their hardware assets. Then we would be sending an email to the badging team as well to take their badge. So these two tasks would be fired in parallel and they would not have any dependency on each other. And as soon as both are completed, we would end the flow. If you notice the email thing would be fired and it would be done automatically. But for the catalog task, the hardware team will have to close that and only then we would be ending the flow. And the second path is if the approval is cancelled, we would end the flow then and there itself. So let's go to service now and create a catalog called E separation and then we would create a flow for that as well. So I am in my service now and I will type maintain items to create a new catalog item. I'll click on new here and I would say E separation as the name of the catalog item and I can give the catalog as service catalog maybe and then category as can we help you and I will save this and now under variables I will click on new and I will create a new variable to get the current user so for that I would select the type as reference I would make this as read only so that the user who is logged in can raise request only for themselves. In the question, I would say requested for and the name automatically populates. And in the type, I would select the table as sys user so that we don't have any data integrity issues. And I will give the default value as the current logged in user for that I would use the code GS dot get user ID and I will submit this right now I would keep the flow as empty because we haven't created the flow yet but I will quickly click on try it to see how does my form looks and it looks perfect requested for is coming as read only and is the current logged in user because I'm logged in as system admin I will now search for flow designer and click here and then I will click on new and create a new flow. I would give the name of the flow as E separation and I will keep everything same as it is except run as system user and I will submit this. I will add a trigger here and the trigger would be the service catalog. So that means it would run for a service catalog item. I click on done and in the next action I will pull all the variables. So for that, I will have to select get catalog variables. Then I would have to select the requested item here. So I'll drag and drop requested item from here. And then I would have to select the name of the catalog item, which is E separation and all the variables which are part of this catalog item would appear here. I would move it on the right hand side. I will click on done. Now we'll have to raise an approval. So for that, I will again create an action and ask for approval. And for this approval, the record would be the requested item again. And then in the rules, we would say anyone approves. 
and now I will have to give the manager name here so I'll be using this catalog variable I'll expand this and scroll down to find the manager field and I'll drag and drop this manager here now the approval would be raised for the manager in the step 2 and here I will give the flow logic of if and I can say if request is approved and I would give the condition as approval state is approved and I will say done and under if I will give another flow logic where we'll be using now the parallel flows for that I will have to click on flow logic I'll scroll down a bit and you can see do the following in parallel this is how we declare our parallel flow logic I'll click here and we would see a plus sign here here we can give the subflow or any action I'll click on plus and firstly I will give an action to create a catalog task for the hardware team now I have to give the requested item here and I would say the short description as please take back the hardwares and then in the fields I would set assignment group as the hardware assignment group and I will keep this as weight and then if I want to show any variables for that catalog item I would have to select again the catalog item here and then I will have to move this variable from here to the right hand side I'll click on done so now a catalog task would be fired and in parallel we want to send an email as well for that I would use another action called send email and the target record would be requested item and where we want to send for example badge at servicenow.com and then in the subject I would say please take back the badge and if you want to give any body for example hi team and then you can write some text of your own for example I'll just copy this and I'll say done here and now we would give the flow logic here and I will select else and then I will end the flow here so for that I will again select on flow logic and select end flow so if the request is approved it will run the parallel flow otherwise it would end the flow and after this I would save the flow and I would have to activate it as well to start using this on my catalog item so while this is being saved and activated I would go back to my catalog item and in the flow section I would select E separation and I will save this now we will do a quick test here I will click on try it and we will be requesting this for the system administrator and the manager for system admin is Beth Angelin I'll click on order now I will go to the request and I will go to the rhythm and you would see the request has been sent for approval to Beth Anglin I will approve this because I am the admin here and as soon as I approve this a new catalog task should be created within a second and then an email should have been sent out as well I'll refresh this and a new task has been created for the hardware team I would quickly check for email as well for that I will go to outbox and open this in a new tab and here I will sort it and you can see an email has been sent to badge at servicenow.com and please take the badge back so the email is running perfectly fine and this is the body of the email please take back the badge we can also preview this email by clicking here 
how the email would be looking and this is how the email looks like I'll go back to the catalog task and we would see that this has been assigned to the hardware team and they would come and close this so I'm the admin I can again go ahead and close this task and I will go back and you would see the task has been closed now so I'll just bring here the state and click OK to see the state of this task and we can see the state is closed now and this request has been completed we can additionally put a logic to mark this rhythm as closed whenever all the tasks are completed so I am sure this video is helpful for you to learn about parallel flows using this example. If you are liking my content, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. Also, please let me know if you want to learn anything new in the flow designer. I will be happy to create more videos on this.